In this first lecture on uncertainty, I'm going to introduce the notation that we use and why the notation represents a range of possible values. We use a specific notation to write how uncertain we are about a measurement. Here I have it written a plus or minus delta a, but it can be any letter. It could be b or c or d plus or minus delta b or c or d. These symbols have specific meanings. This is the actual number value of our measurement, and this is the uncertainty of our measurement. What these symbols physically represent is that we have some measurement a, but we're not sure that the measurement is at that exact value. It could be delta a smaller than a, so the smallest possible value would be a minus delta a, or it could be delta a larger than a, so the largest possible value would be a plus delta a. So this means that the actual value of our measurement could be anywhere within this range from a minus delta a to a plus delta a. And so that's why we use the symbol plus or minus delta a when we're dealing with uncertainty. So we say that this notation represents a range of possible values. It's a range of numbers that our measurement could be inside because we're unsure about the exact value of our measurement. So it could be anywhere within that range labeled by a plus or minus delta a. So those variables represent the general notation that we use, but we can also have specific notation where we write the exact numbers and uncertainties. For example, we could have a measurement that's five plus or minus three. What that would mean is that the measurement would have the value five, but we're uncertain about it. So it could be as low as five minus three, which is two, or the actual value of the measurement could be as high as five plus three, which is eight. So the actual true value of that measurement could fall anywhere along this range of possible values. It could be anywhere from two to eight. That's what that five plus or minus three physically represents. So any number within that range is a possible value here. Numbers like two or 3.14159 and seven are all possible values, whereas one or 8.001 are not possible values because they fall outside that range of possible values. So that's physically what that symbol five plus or minus three represents. It could mean that our actual measurement could fall anywhere along the range five minus three to five plus three. If you're given a range and asked to write the range as a number with uncertainty, you can use this method where the number value is equal to the max plus the min of the range over two. This is also the average of the range. And the uncertainty is equal to the max minus the min over two. That's the range value divided by two. So I can see that a takes the exact middle point between the max and the min, so that's why it's the average. And delta a is the range divided by two. For example, I could say I have a range from two to eight, and I wanna know how to write that with this new uncertainty notation. So we know that the number value is the average of the maximum and minimum, which is equal to five. And the uncertainty is the maximum minus the minimum divided by two, the range divided by two, which I can see is equal to three. So that means that this range of possible values can be written as five plus or minus three. I'm gonna close the video with example problems where we write the uncertainties as a maximum and minimum range and write the maximum and minimum range as a number with uncertainty. So I'm going to let you try this. I'll pause the video and see if you can write each uncertainty as the maximum and minimum range and then write the maximum and minimum range as a number with uncertainty. And remember, those two things mean the same thing. They're just two different ways of recording it. So these are the ranges that are indicated by the numbers with uncertainty. And these are the numbers with uncertainty that are indicated by the ranges. And that's what you have to know about the basics of uncertainty notation and the range of possible values.